Hey everybody, Jake from MakerPipe here. Today I want to welcome you to the first episode of a series that we're calling the Masterclass. In this series, we're going to show you how to go from a build idea to a completed DIY project. If you're new to building with the MT Conduit and MakerPipe connectors, you're in the right place. Even if you're a pro, you can still watch and pick up some new tips and insights that you might not know about. In this first episode, I want to introduce you to EMT Conduit and the MakerPipe connector system. We'll talk about what those materials are, why they're useful for building DIY projects, and we'll even highlight a few builds to start giving you some project ideas. So what are EMT Conduit and MakerPipe connectors? EMT stands for Electrical Metallic Tubing, and it's basically a sturdy galvanized steel pipe that electricians use to protect wires. We like to get it at our local Do It Best or True Value hardware store, but you can find it in the electrical aisle of pretty much any home improvement or hardware store. It's usually sold in five or 10 foot lengths for about a dollar a foot. It's strong, lightweight, and made to last. MakerPipe connectors are steel fittings that clamp onto conduit and join them together. Think of them like adult Lego or an erector set for steel tubing. They let you connect pieces of conduit together in different ways at different angles to build structures. Each connector is made of steel in the US with a protective coating so it's durable and it tightens with simple hardware. MakerPipe is a whole system of these kinds of connectors that turn ordinary EMT conduit into an affordable building system with endless possibilities. In other words, using conduit and connectors, you can build just about anything without needing to weld or fabricate custom parts. There are a number of different connectors in the MakerPipe system, and we're going to go through each of those connector types later on. But for now, the main idea to wrap your head around is that by combining EMT conduit and MakerPipe connectors, you get a super versatile construction kit for DIY projects. So why are EMT conduit and the MakerPipe system so useful for DIYers? There are a few main reasons why DIY builders love using EMT conduit and connectors for their projects. Number one, they're easy to work with. You don't need special skills or expensive power tools or even a full workshop to build with MakerPipe and EMT. The only tool that you need to assemble the connectors is a 5mm hex wrench or Allen key. And for cutting conduit to length, you can use this simple handheld tool, a rotating pipe and tube cutter. With no welding and drilling involved, it's a very beginner-friendly way to build. Plus, if you make a mistake or you want to adjust your design, you can just loosen the bolt and reposition the connectors. They're super forgiving compared to something like glued PVC joints, for example. Another reason that builders like using EMT and MakerPipe is because it's pretty affordable for most projects. EMT conduit is inexpensive and readily available at stores close by. MakerPipe connectors are designed to be affordable as well, so you get a strong building system without spending a ton of money. Many builders love that they can create completely custom projects at a fraction of the cost of store-bought options. And because the pieces are reusable, you can always take apart a project and use the pipes and connectors again in a new project, getting even more bang for your buck. Builders also love the fact that you can combine the cost and ease of building with the fact that their finished build is strong and sturdy. Empty conduit is made of galvanized steel, so it's plenty strong for most DIY projects, whether it's a desk, a kayak cart, or a greenhouse frame. The maker pipe connectors form a solid joint that hold everything rigid. You can build with confidence that your creation will hold up. For example, check out this massive garden enclosure that is made entirely out of conduit and maker pipe connectors. Whether your project is going to live in the garage, in your backyard, living room, or even outside in the weather, EMT conduit and connectors give you durability and strength over time. Another great thing is the versatility. Because the connectors can be adjusted, you're not locked into an exact one-time assembly. You can always expand or modify your build later. It's perfect for prototyping an idea, making a custom solution for your space, or just tinkering until it's right. If you can dream it, you can likely build it with conduit, even if it takes some trial and error. Now, of course, no building material is perfect for every situation. While EMT conduit and maker pipe work for a bunch of projects, there are a few cases where it might not be the ideal choice. For example, if you need to build something extremely heavy duty, like a roll cage for a car or a structure that needs to support human weight, you might need thicker steel or welded joints. For most DIY projects though, from furniture and storage to hobby projects and outdoor garden frames, EMT conduit hits the sweet spot for being easy, affordable, and strong enough for the job. So just keep those limitations in mind, but don't let them discourage you. You can make things like desks, garden frames, hunting blinds, canopies, or awnings for your home. You can make wild things. We've seen go-karts, rocket-powered sleds, gold mining equipment. You'll be surprised how capable EMT and connectors are for your build ideas. Like I said, if you can dream it, you can likely build it with conduit and connectors. Now that you've seen what conduit and connectors can do, I hope you're getting excited about the possibilities. In this series, I'm gonna guide you through the entire process of building with EMT conduit from the first idea to the final project. Each episode will tackle a different part of the journey. Here's a sneak peek at what's coming up. The next episode is the basic tools and materials needed. The good news is you won't need much. Remember, mostly just a pipe cutter and a hex wrench. After that, it's gonna be all about planning and designing. We'll start with how to plan your project. This includes coming up with a design, making a cut list, and deciding what connectors and accessories you're gonna need. 
The main goal will be to get the idea out of your head either by sketching or modeling out your build. Good planning will save you time, money, and headaches later on. After that is going to be the fun part, putting it all together. We'll dedicate an episode on assembling maker pipe connectors, how to align your pieces, and helpful tips and tricks for making your projects go as smoothly and easily as possible. We'll show you how to safely cut conduit to length, deburr the edges, and get everything ready for the assembly. You'll see us build a small demo project so you can follow along step by step. Lastly, we'll cover finishing touches and modification. This includes things like painting or coating your conduit frame, adding accessories like wheels, feet, or pads, and ways to mount other materials to your frame. For example, adding a wooden tabletop onto a conduit desk frame. We'll talk about hacks and solutions for specific problems. By the end, you'll have a completed build that you can be proud of. Along the way, I'll be answering common questions and troubleshooting issues that new builders often run into. The goal is that by the end of this series, you'll feel confident to design and build your own projects using this system. I hope this introduction got your wheels turning with ideas. We saw how simple metal conduit and a box of connectors can become all sorts of useful and fun things. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm really excited to help you along on your DIY build journey in the upcoming episodes. In the meantime, I want to hear from you guys. What kind of projects would you like to build with EMT Conduit? Do you have an idea in mind already, or is there something you'd like to learn in this masterclass series? Let me know down in the comments. Lastly, if you're as excited as I am for this series, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next episodes. We've got a lot of great content on the way, and I don't want you to miss out on building something awesome. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.